16 CSGO event. CSR opened it up here for, at least for the, uh, the stream purposes, but it looks like the game's already been going. It's 7-1, and the Fissions off there taking down another static player. And uh, we are going to be <coughs> looking at uh, possibly a very quick game here. Yeah, looking very good right now. Looks like... Uh CSR really top fragging and carrying the team um, <laughs> yeah. with the AK yes, for definitely. sure. So uh, seven to one on the CT side, pretty good CT side so far. Static Void really needs to step up, and uh, you know this round basically to kind of turn things around and get them in their favor because if they can get a uh, if they can get uh, about six or seven rounds, that's going to put them in a great spot for the CT side what? for next time. Okay, so Crustles gets four picks there, dropping on drop down. What a, uh, I mean, geez, a heck of a play there. I mean, you got the M4A4, all four waterfall down, and he gets every single one of them and finishes off with the Tech 9. Looks like he got an ace there. Fantastic play, uh, play by uh, Crustles. We have to give him a shout out for that one. That, yeah, was, that's, that was great. That's the, uh, I think that's the power of the M4, to be honest. That's the extra, that's the extra, extra 10 ammo. bullets in the ammo. And uh, yeah. it actually had close range, the M4. Uh, it's definitely outperformed. Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely outperforms. Yeah. They want us. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Static Void once again going with the no armor full tech nine. We actually have Burt Macklin, Mr. FBI himself, running up there with head armor. Uh, he's not taking the point, unfortunately. He is taking the back. Um, ooh, but because of that head armor that he had, he was able to get a kill here, but he doesn't know Axon's here in the corner. Does get instantly taken out, finished him off. And that's just Amicus and Cross but they did the get the bomb down though. So that's that's some extra money in the pocket um, for them. And uh, it is the only downside is you only take out one person here. So I mean, not a bad eco, but uh, not the ideal situation you want. I mean, I mean we've talked about this many times, but yeah, well, that gives them a that gives them an op round, uh, an op buy though, for sure, if they decide to do it. But it looks like yeah, there it is. Yep. So what they should have had though, they should have had. Uh, the ideal situation they should, have had Look, Chris. Even, they should have had Chris by the op for him, though. Well, but even then, it's just like plant the bomb. If you know for sure you're, you're done, as in this round, you're not going to win this one. I mean, if you can, try to grab a gun and, just, and let them defuse and leave. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That would be the ideal situation because then they really can have some uh, financial options. But uh, I, there's no they were able to get a full buy. There, Why? Yeah. I mean, but I'm saying if we if you can set it up like that for future things, um, yeah. uh, that's the ideal situation. But, uh, you know, that was overall, a, a, you know, a fine round and they are set up for the full buy here. So let's see what happens. Again, it's 9-1 here. Um, we're approaching halftime, you know, quick, uh, getting it closer to it round by round here. And they do drop bomb. <coughs> So yeah, bombs sitting sitting uh, up our stairs right now. Potentially, they uh, I don't know. Maybe they want someone to see it, but uh, I I think Ooh, if you're gonna drop Brussels. bomb like that, you should drop it somewhere a little bit more nice hidden. Oh. He got a good flash in there for the pop, but uh, it actually didn't do anything to Burt Macklin. Now Crustles has the advantage here. Just no, Burt Macklin so is, uh, is is actually at eight HP. He there we go. Oh, nice. There it is. So finally, the teammates come in. Help him out and relieve that pressure. Well, so there's, you know, there's not, not a lot you can do when you're flashed like that. Well, like no, he was, the, no box, he, the, like. the pop flash actually missed. He wasn't flashed from the pop flash, and that's why he didn't die initially. But he... What I mean is the flash allowed him to... Um, allowed Krusty's to, or Crustles to pick over and put Burt Macklin down at 8 HP. Oh, yeah. So there's not a lot you can do in that situation. You have to wait for your teammates to come help. I think most of... I think the... It's the fact that Burt missed, like, he peeked out and missed the shot. Yeah, he, he peeked out and missed. He missed the, uh, oh. and so it's like, so there's not a lot you can do in that kind of situation. I mean, and it's a good thing he, his teammates came in, he was able to pick it up, and and uh, now, look at this, I mean, he is the last person living. Oh, yeah, wow. I mean, he, he's able to get that pick literally because his teammates came in, yeah. they made the trade happen, that's the only reason they picked up their round, so great play there. Yeah, the double, static. the double, uh, double statue plant strat was, it worked out really well. Yep. So they thought there was only one person there, uh, peeked out, got killed, and then uh, retraded. I'm just kind of so surprised that they kind of nice. forgot about uh, Macklin at that point. It's almost like they uh, platformed. They kind of just almost gave it up. I mean, of course, they do have to go in and uh, defuse the bomb, but uh, yeah. you got to think that that's where he's going to be. And Saber looks like looks like going extremely aggressive through the smoke in mid, man. Like, you know, that sucks for him. I mean, that's just a huge misplay on his part. Uh, but Looks uh, like good, we're going to see some competition from CSR it. here. Going to get that first pick. Ooh, traded out. Good job by Emkus. Nice pick by Macklin. All right. So it's turning into uh, Void's favor here. Coming up on this round as well. We could be seeing a 9-3. Uh, 
that was really good that they were able to make that trade after CSR pushed in so aggressively yeah. like that. Because if he would have get, been able to get two, we'd be looking at a 3-3 three, three here. So let's and that would have been a Dino, big problem. Dino looks like Dino might have heard their footsteps rotating, or he just knows that no one's on the A side. So he's going to come in through here, through connector, but he has to be really careful. So there is the smoke for it, so he knows they're coming in. Uh, let's see what he does here. He plays inside the smoke, plays really aggressive. Has to fall back because of the flash. Plays out. Gets real close. Hides in the smoke. Comes wise out, play. Him. Wise play for the, being outnumbered like this. He did just get flashed. And then Chris able to take him out and get the almost get the double kill on Crustles. But let's lights him down with one HP left. And then and the Kobe <laughs> to finish it off there from Burt Macklin. What was interesting, though, is, uh, is the fact that he had that game sense to just immediately turn and check. Uh, right there to take uh, to take out Cross. Well, to almost take out Crustles. Yeah. Um, if he wouldn't have done that, first of all, that nade would have been to no avail, and uh, <coughs> Crustles likely could have gotten a second pick. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Good job by Crisp to really keep on the swivel and, and spot that out. But once again, oh, this time it's Tino, who actually pushes out, and uh, once again there's another pick here in mid through the smoke. For the voids, uh, for static voids, so that makes it a 5v4 as they push on here. Now, it is an eco for the blue dream, so that once again, they're just playing a little bit aggressive. But this B stack, we'll see if they're able to figure this out. Um, they do have someone stacked up onto a drop down. So that's a risky move, potential. even on an eco, though, to just leave A completely exposed like that, even Correct, if you think yeah. that they are all there, because obviously the bomb is not. I mean, they are getting lucky that void <coughs> isn't really pushing up to get any information on A site, though. And, and that's the thing is, void's got to know, they have to know that blue is on an eco. Like they have to know that by now. Yep. And so it's odd that they're not, they're playing so slowly because this is allowing Blue to kind of just comfortably kind of hang out and not have a lot of, like, they, don't, they have a lot less decisions, quick decisions, there I should say, is. to make. Good job by Crustles to get that AK and get on out of there. Sprays through the smoke, but here's Saber. Saber hiding coming in the out corner. with P250, probably going to get two picks here, wow, but it barely isn't able to. He runs out of ammo with that. It's only a 13 round clip. Jack and Monkey on the swivel to take him out, and, and a Burt second Macklin. one. Macklin getting taken out. Haxon. Those are see. Those were crucial. Taking out Haxon right there yep. was. I, I really was. Uh, you know, I, I think that's how they were able to make that round kind of turn in their favor because uh, after uh, Saber picked up, um, I believe it was Saber, the uh, AK there in drop down. Mm -hmm. That was pretty devastating for Void, so they need to... Uh, well, the fact that they got the kill on the Crisp made it so somebody had to buy him. So, if they uh, Bloom Dreams can pick up this round, that should cause Static Void to go on sort of like a semi-eco. Um, if they do, they're going to have to yeah, force we'll buy look. next round. So. Well, for it, least, it would well, be like a light buy, because the thing is, two, three of them will be able to full buy. That's true. They I just can't buy an op. I don't, yeah, as I said, I don't think they'll be able to buy, uh, afford and an op. On a, and on a map like Cobblestone, you have to buy an op. You have to buy an op, and, and you also have to buy you know, equipment. Yep, and you so they're not going to, gonna, you need nades, you need smokes, you need entries and stuff like that. So I don't think, you're right, I mean, it would be wise if Void loses Ooh. this round to save. Yeah. That was and a good flash, I suggest a full save at this point. I mean, it's, it's only a 9-4, it's not like you're you're facing round 15 here, so. So Blue Dream's playing a little safer, not going to aggro here in mid doors at all. Um, looks like uh, Static Void is still playing that same kind of slow rotation, figure things out, where are they going? Make some aggressive picks, uh, or some picks against the aggression, but uh, Burt Macklin's going to take this Tech-9 and that uh, op, and I think he's going to try to go mid, try to get this pick onto Saber, who's sitting up here in grass, but he's not really peeking at anything. Haxon gets caught out all the way on the A long side, and here comes the push right on A site. Someone's he's put Saber out of position on site, couldn't get back to his corner. Are they going to smoke off connector or not? Because if they don't, Dino's going to free reign over this just like this. Get but the look at those kill. picks from Dino. I mean, really, like th that was just phenomenal for him to have that anticipation to rotate mid like that. And what's cool is he he rotated mid, um, well, essentially connector. Um, well, no, and, yeah, it didn't get smoked. And the things, well, he didn't, it didn't get smoked, but he also didn't make the classic mistake that we see on Cobblestone all the time where people push out. Like, they literally straight up just walk all the way out of there, and then somebody down there in pit literally just kills him yep. instantly. Yep, someone in pit. The cl I mean, they really smart the play, but I can't believe Void did not smoke that. Yeah, I mean, they, they had the ability to, you know, um, it, it's either a mistake of, okay, we didn't buy enough smokes, which is, which is kind of a, a bad decision, but... Uh, well, I think the two people who went on site had smokes. They just didn't they play did, it. They well, were running out of They time. didn't play it or they didn't use them in the correct spots. Yeah, they were definitely running because out of time, Because the thing is, though. smoking connector is going to be much more valuable than smoking, like, balcony. Oh, like, sure. like, balcony is Especially such a, it's such a risky op. play anyway, if you already have an op. And it looks like, uh, you know... What's interesting is Void. Look at this. So, I mean, they were able to pick up some stuff, but uh, kind of like we talked about, they didn't save. 
So because now they're running kind of a, uh, you have an opper who has no head armor of any kind. Yeah, glass cannon opper. So you're going <laughs> to, I mean, and then you got, you got, uh, I mean, he should give that op to, to either Crisp or well, um, the only, so I mean, the thing is, the hope, right, that is, is that he can hit just in one shots and he'll, or one shot and he'll be fine. But the problem is, Saber and Hacks is going to be his, are going to be his demise, though. And they, they everybody on uh, Blue Dreams has armor. Yeah, correct. So he's going to be, he's obviously in a really tough spot. Now, of course, Static's going to do his, like the best they can in this situation. But um, I'm just kind of surprised at, at that uh, that leadership choice that that Static would decide to buy um, on this round. I mean, it's because if they if they lose this, then we're looking at probably a a, a, a twelve four easy. Jack with a nice pick there on the, to clear up grass, and then Burt Macklin also taking out Saber. Dino gets hit from the side, still doesn't go down. A thirty five HP though, hiding on side. And there goes here the goes uh, Macklin. There goes one of the. Uh, now we're looking at two offers and one AK. Make that one offer by himself. Oh, CSR with a great spray through the wood there. Well, what are you gonna do? Again, no armor, no head armor, no, no anything of any kind, no Kevlar. Through the wood is an easy, easy pick. So you got to think as an opera, I have nothing to defend me. I shouldn't go somewhere where someone can easily shoot through it and kill me. So, yeah, but maybe that's at the end of the method. day, though, that's kind of his only choice. So, a Burt Macklin, look at the score on him. So, Burt Macklin with a 2.0 KD going 20 and 10, completely dominating the frag. Uh, the frag actually, that was a miscalculation on our part, actually. I didn't realize it was that that was the halftime round. Definitely yeah. not safe at, at first. Cause, oh, no. Yeah, I was thinking, uh, like, oh, they had one more um, toy space now. But yeah. In that case, yeah, I can see why they didn't. But uh, if you can, man, buy buy uh, an AK and armor is going to be a much better choice than an op yeah. with once no armor. Once again, Mkis, especially when you already have one on your team. Mkis didn't go armor, so he could afford an op if they do win, or uh, by third round if they do win the next two rounds here. But uh, looks like the entire T side went armor, and they get taken down because of that headshot. So. Ooh, Chris with a nice pickup through connector. Macklin trying to do some work here. Can't land the headshot. Bomb does go down still because of that. And then Tinu and Haxon are able and CSR oh, all geez, make their now, picks here. Now he's in trouble. Chris was just completely surrounded after you know two of his teammates ran in and just were not able to get those picks and weren't able to make things happen. So now, so now it's going to be Monkey by himself, yeah. He does have this USP though. Nice, nice hit on there. He doesn't know the other guy's grass hiding behind the pillar. Now he knows them, but he's got to get on this bomb. He doesn't have a kit though. It's times out. The time is gone. Good job by Haxon for basically just being very. Oh, and he still gets the kill in the so money. So he gets some money. Job. Yeah. yeah, good for him for being very patient and understanding that if he can't get on the bomb site within a certain amount of time, then he's gonna go down. So. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I, I don't think I see even saw a single kit at all on the CT side. So usually you want to run at least, I think, one. Sometimes teams run two kits, um, especially on those pistol rounds, because it seems like they always come down to the wire. They either are a blowout or they come down to the wire. So let's see if it looks like T side making a nice play here on the B side. That's completely open, so they called it. Now Static Void really getting punished here for stacking that mid connector. We really have to see how they're going to basically attempt to try to retake this. We have three or four people with head armor. Well, yeah, they completely just gave B-side up. Like, uh... Well, these close quarters could mean disaster for this uh, Blue Dreams team. But Dino's... Oh, Dino almost getting picked What off. is spelling out disaster now at this point? I mean, look, you got... Oh, man, that I rotation... Mean, Void was just not able to, uh... Really, that the, the disaster worked in Blue uh, Dream's favor. I mean, correct. It's but it's the fact that they just well, you know, Void was, wasn't able to. Void had a pretty pretty a light buy for all intents and purposes. Well, no, I don't. I don't know. They had all of five sevens armor except for one person. So the thing is, but but the problem is a five seven is good, but correct. not great in a uh, close quarters. You, you buy the five well, seven one, is it a for one, the it's range. A one headshot still. Yeah, but but you buy the you buy the five seven for the range in armor penetration. It's much more accurate than the P two fifty, and so. When, when the on these close quarters like drop down, when you when the other team has a like Galil and things like that, that's like devastating compared to five seven. I think the five seven still would have done a lot of damage here. But Chris doing some work with just a USP, taking on one guy to try to hurt there. Which is honestly gone, really surprising when you got guys with uh, you have, the whole team has head armor. Yeah. And you're able to get two picks with a USP. Correct. That's pretty impressive. Double so. headshot. I mean, so the USP is so accurate that you can double tap 
in the same spot, and if you hit the head... Well, if you double tap twice, with uh, even with uh, the Glock and head armor, I mean, you'll yeah. still kill him. So, but the USP is much more accurate. The only downside about the Glock as well is uh, if, you're, if you're saving is uh, over distance, it loses damage. Definitely. So oh, yeah, a lot of damage. That's why you have to, you, you know, that's why when you're, you're T-side, you're saving, you got to make that Glock train happen. Yeah. Okay, looks like one of the players disconnected here on Static Void. Game is going to pause. No Steam log on. Definitely a rip there, man. Yeah, so they'll, we'll probably have to go for a pause here. Although they might let this round go through at this point. I mean, usually when you DC in the middle of a round, they can't stop it um, all the time because, like, uh, you kind of have to make kind of a blanket policy for that because if, if you were to stop, say, in the middle of a round um, and a player DCs and, and one team wins that round that wouldn't have won it before, the problem is you can't say, you know what I mean, Correct. who would win or not, and so it's not really fair to replay the round. Yep. It's no, when it, no, it's not fair when it, at all. Especially when it would, like, say Static Void now is a, was able to win that round a second time around. That'd be completely bad for Blue Dreams because it's there are 15 now. So. Yeah, that's, yeah. So, yeah, they can, pause, they can pause at freeze time, but they're not going to be able to pause in the middle of the round. So that really that's really unfortunate for Void. But honestly... And also, he comes back with only $50, dude. He can't <laughs> buy anything. Well, they can't buy as a team anyway. But but here's the, here's the other downside. I mean, even if he DCs, I think it was already over for Static Void. At this point, when you, when you're so down at eco and the game is almost over, yeah, they they have your the mental state that's, is in such a bad spot. There's like almost nothing you can do. That's double eco since they lost. So there's yeah. two ecos in a round just to end like ending the game. And, and they, they have to turn to get the UMPs here. I mean, that is, I, you know, it's a good choice. I'm a big fan of the UMP, but I'm a huge fan. They're yeah. gonna they're gonna have to try to get just like but, uh, what Brett Lee here is doing. They're gonna have to try to get these surprise, you know, around the corner picks. That's the best thing they can possibly do at this point. Crisp just got one on hacks on big so pick there. all around right here. But uh, B side's completely open. So once again, we got to see a master retake. Well, look, uh, I mean, Void has two AKs now, so th this could happen. Yeah, MKS MKS will literally get killed by three bullets of anything, to be honest, because he has no armor. So. Here he is, pushes out, <laughs> take it down, and so does Emkis. There's that no armor, no nothing, just absolutely getting shredded. Team has already conceded. The GG is coming out before the game's over here. Ooh, and Petra has something to say about that. Bradley has, he definitely has something to say about that, but even oh, he couldn't defuse it no matter what now. I mean, even if he ran straight to the bomb at this point mm -hmm. with uh, 